The Jolly Mon King Classic was started in 1992 uh, by a very good friend of mine, a family friend. His name is Jamie Milliken. His first year, he had, I think, 35 boats. It was kind of a buddy's get-together. In 97, we had around 125 boats, and um, the tournament just continued to escalate in participation. This year, we're tickled to death to have 305 boats, and uh, it's, it's been a great pleasure. Friday is the big day. That's the day where there's a lot of activity. The format allows you to fish either Saturday or Sunday. We start weighing folks in. We weigh in between 2 and 5 p.m. And then Sunday, weighing will be over 5. Everything will be accounted for, checks written, and we'll hand out. Gosh, I think this year it'll be close to $100,000 in prize money. So lots of money, lots of prizes. Well, it's now just 7 o'clock in the morning, and lines are just going in. That's bait. That's hard to believe. <laughs> Anything I've learned fishing in the ocean is everything that swims in the ocean is bait for something bigger. Exactly right. To be clear, though, when they hit, they'll set the hook themselves. Right, you don't need to do anything yeah, but just let them go, the right? Hook. Yeah, that's about the worst thing you can do. We've been catching small ones. While we were doing that, we missed the big one. That used to be a bluefish. <laughs> he got half of it. He, he, did. Missed, he missed our hook, though, just barely. This tournament benefits the Long Bay Artificial Reef Association. The Reef Association uh, maintains and creates artificial reefs here in our area, Long Bay. Uh, the other group that we benefit is the Teaching Youth to Fish Foundation, which is actually a group that I started myself. The group's goal uh, is to provide kids that don't have the opportunity to go deep sea fishing the opportunity to go. Painful face of a tournament fisherman without a big fish in the boat. There we go, there, now he knows he's hooked. Another fish on, I think this is about number eight on the day. Reaming. Real, 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 just real. Well, these fish are so much fun, man. I can totally tell why you've got more than 300 boats entered into this one day tournament. Very sporty fish, hard runs, They'll dog you towards the end of the fight. Not much, but it's a start. It's a start. Oh, that's about a 12 to a 14 pounder there. A few years back, I uh, started a, another little side tournament called the Junior Jolly Mom. So many of these guys go fishing on Friday, sort of pre-fish, get an idea what the water looks like, see if they can find the fish that, you know, why not take the kids with you? you know, when you're doing that. So I figured, hey, if they're on the water, let's start a little tournament. It's only a $10 per kid. And uh, my, my rule is that the kid has to earn their $10 in order to enter the tournament. And uh, they go fishing and, you know, it, it's sort of their tournament. We do pogey bobbing, which has become huge. First year we did it, I think I might have had two people. But it's just escalated and escalated. And now it's, it's something that they look forward to. The parents look forward to it. You know, every year, you know, watching their kids, you know, it's not really about the competition, but just the, you know, the fact of doing it, you know. It's fun, and everybody gets a real kick out of it. Release him! Watch out! He lives to see another day! Yeah. So this is great. We're just after lunchtime. It's 12.30 p.m., and uh, we've had about 10 mackerel. We've got one gaffer in the boat, one keeper. We're going to weigh that one in. We've caught uh, sharks. We've caught barracuda. And the target species of kingfish, we're having a ball. It's beautiful out here at the Jolly Mountain. Perfect tournament to join. We're gonna go try to catch some bait, freshen up on live bait, come back and try this again. It's late in the afternoon. We've just had a about an hour and a half of nothing. And uh, once again, all of a sudden on this rigger, the ribbon fish went off. This could be the last fish of the day. I'm hoping not, because I don't think it's a big one. All right. Great. Shower. Alright guys, we're gonna we're gonna pack it up. How's it going? What's your boat number? 301. 301. I don't think it's gonna win it. Yeah. <laughs> 301. 14.75. There's been no other King Mackerel events this year in the United States with, it, with that many boats and um, couldn't be happier, couldn't be more proud of our fishermen and their commitment and dedication to the event and our staff, um, really happy.